Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Beer Bros. This is part two of our potato week, potato chip week, beer infused potato chip week. There we go. Which does of course tie into yesterday, St. Patrick's Day. Because of potatoes, Ireland, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, Keith, let's uh, get to our next beer infused chip. Excellent. Hey. Our second chip is going to be uh, uh, Spryker's. Spryker's. Spryker's beer flavored kettle chips from Wisconsin, where they do know their uh, beer and their chips. Yeah. Can you get your glass, please? Yeah, once again, I don't know if this is going to work, but. Put me to the top, Keith. I hate it when I spill chips all over the thing. So why don't you give that a smell? You know, this is more traditional. Uh, aside from what we tasted on Monday, this has more of a traditional look and a traditional smell to the chip itself. So it's uh, crispiness, and it has a light salting on it. Um, Definitely a more that you can you can visibly see a light salting or seasoning yeah, on it. Yeah, and definitely more traditional than the previous chips, and it's also much lighter than the Guinness chips, which I guess you would expect. These must be more of a lager-based uh, infusion, while the Guinness was, of course, a stout-based. Now, is, these are kettle cooked. I, I mean, I'm a beer connoisseur, I'm not a chip guy. Yeah, neither I'll am eat, I. I'll eat a bag of chips like nobody's business, but I wonder if that has something to do with the color, the flavor. So we might have to look that up and research it yeah. a little bit later. So that could be it. So I'm looking here, Keith, and it's uh, it's definitely very clear on the ingredients. Um, you know, for those of you who might be a little bit skeptical, the ingredients specifically say dried beer and yeast mm. extract. So clinky, clinky crunchy. crunchy. Mm. Mm. These are different. They are almost sweet. Very, very much a sweet taste. Which when I would you, expect uh, from a more malty infusion. Yeah, I'm. Uh, that's surprising. Yeah, the Guinness tasted more of uh, barbecue almost or caramelization. Yeah. These are. I would almost swear that that was a sugar. Yeah. The sugar infused or a mm -hmm. Very you wouldn't definitely you wouldn't you wouldn't pair that with um, a beer taste at all. That's more of along the lines of a sweet, typical um, potato chip and, and something that has a flavor of a, a barbecue mm -hmm. um, in your larger brains. But right. yeah, good selection right there. Yeah. These would go very well with a uh, hamburger, perhaps, or hot dogs, or any other sort of barbecue. Or just by themselves, if you're drinking a strong um, IPA, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think the the strength in the IPA versus the sweetness would help balance balance out the beer. That is a good point. So, hmm, Spriker, right on with your with your chip and beer infused selection here. And apparently it's good for you. Gluten free. Ooh. Yeah. Of course. Potatoes. But still. Mm. And with that, I think we're at the end of our episode. Oh, we're done? <laughs> yeah. With that, I think we're at the end of our episode. Again. Somebody's got a lead on Chip of the Week. I'll, I'll be honest. Okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Before. One more selection, though. Don't forget to tune in. You and your friend on Friday. Yes. Fridays are friend days. Like, comment, subscribe below. You shouldn't yep. have done that on Monday because we didn't say it. But if you want to. So. With that, see you guys Friday. Beer bros out.
we're sticking to our guns here. Excellent. So exactly. But let's give it a shot. Hey. Oh. Wait. Edit. Cut.